God, please, no, 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 no! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Soviet Tier 6 medium tank, the T-34-85. Now this is a tank that I didn't play at all. Well, I did I did run a ground through it, say, 2015-ish. But I haven't played through it at all after I've gone through it until after 6.0. And why is that? Well, that's because... If you wanted to play the tank how I wanted to play it, which you all know how I love my tier 6 and 5 derps, I wanted to run the derp gun, but I couldn't. If I wanted to run the derp gun on the T-3485, I had to be completely stock, which meant stock engine, stock tracks, stock turret. It meant that this tank was not fun to play because it was incredibly slow, blind, and just was not very good. But, and that was purely because it was stock. But now, I can fit this, the derp gun with upgraded everything. So here we go, T-3485, derp-tastic memes in the hood. And yeah, I love, it. I love it. It was great, it was great fun to do. The tank is just memes. Now, obviously with it being the Russian 122 derp, it has the very, very powerful heat round that's got 140 pen. Now, as you see, we've just slapped two heat shells into that M6 and took away three quarters of his health. And we're going in for the finish. And within three shots, he's gone. Now, we'd have had to expose ourselves way more than that if we had the 85mm and really wrecked his day. But we wrecked it anyway with the derp. So, we finished him off. Tried to snap a shot into the A43. Unfortunately, it doesn't go anywhere near the A43. So, we're just going to rush around the corner and... Bang. He's mine. And now there's a T-67. It's like, hello, friend. How's it going? Don't need a heat shell for this guy, but yeah, that's what, what we've got loaded. And there goes the T-67. Now there's a T-150 over there, and that's it's a bit awkward. Now, obviously, I've got no heat shells left. Now, the heat shells would have been nice for that T-150 because he slaps for 300 alpha. And it would have been nice to out-trade him, but unfortunately, we don't have that. We've only got HE left, but we're just still going to... We're going to start slapping people with HE, like 170 damage with HE on that guy. Juicy. There's an asshorn. The dream. Straight in, HE again. And it's... Oh, who doesn't love derp guns? Because, I mean, you go... You just slap people for so much. It's great. Like, oh, I, lo I love derp-tastic memes. Like, that P43 was just there, like... I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. And he died to someone else. Now, there's another TD just been spotted down there. It's a Hellcat. Now, again, a Hellcat is the dream. That's a hateable target. Now, unfortunately, we caught his side before he came round there, which meant that we didn't pen it. We just tracked it. And look at that. That snippety snipe with a derp gun just over the top of that dead tank, straight into the turret of the Hellcat and finish him off. Oh, derp guns, don't ever change. So we're basically going after this T-150 now, and this T-150 is... Well, the T-150 is healthy, and it's kind of risky, because he'll reload at pretty much the same time as I will. Because his reload is pretty similar to my derp, and obviously he's going to hit me for 300 every time, if he hits. And I'm going to hit him for, like, as you see, I put two shots in now, one for 107, one for 67. So as we're going past, I think, you know what, I'm going to trap this guy. I'm going to keep him pinned in place and try and out-traverse his gun. We're only doing for 18 damage. But, yeah. So as we come over, look at that. We've penned his engine deck. So we're for 388. Okay, dokey. I'll take it. They're 94. Derp guns, man. Every single time. You don't know what you're going to get once you pull that trigger. But we finish him off. And the artillery died on the hill, and that was the end of the game. T-34-85. Derp. Action. Extraordinaire. Just brilliant. I, I love this tank so much. So we finished that game with 6 kills, nearly 3,000 damage, 287 assistants. Ace tanker, sniper medal for a derp gun. High caliber, top gun. 1881 base XP. This tank, man. 
Top notch. Top notch. And I'm so happy with 6.0. The fact that I can actually play this tank how I've wanted to. Four years. That was one of the good things that came out of 6.0. And that is the ability to equip modules how and how, which is how you want. You're not limited by the package system, which was before. Which, I never liked the package system. I mean, I'll say it as before. I came from playing... I started playing this game back in 2014. Was it 2014? 2014 was the Xbox 360. I played the Xbox 360 beta. Was like, what is this game? I don't like the looks of it. Stop playing. Then came the Xbox One beta, 2015. Stop playing. It was like, this, this look, tanks, awesome. Drive tanks. Stop playing it more. Stop watching people on YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. And went, they're playing a different game to me. Because at that point in time, it was a lot, of, a lot of the content out there. And a lot of the content that was easy to find was PC. So I ended up downloading PC. Stopped playing that a lot more. And basically played PC from then on. But then I found friends that kept, that played on console and was like, you know what, I'll come back for the Motherland Calls up. And I ended up earning the Motherland Calls. No, what, the Motherland Calls? I ended up earning the Motherland. And then just from there, started playing this way more. And the one thing that always annoyed me was the limitations of the package system. Because I couldn't set up tanks how I wanted. And 6.0, that's completely changed. And that's a very good thing that's come with it. Now, we're not going to talk about the linear progression system because that is a little bit dodgy. But hopefully they'll fix that and sort stuff out for that. But yeah, the ability to sort out my tanks and play them how I want, that's great. And I wouldn't have been able to play this T-3485 beforehand how I am now. So, we're on cliff and we've taken up this aggressive position in the middle. And it's HE time. T-29. Now, we'd have been struggling with this guy with the 85mm. Sure, we could have pressed A, fired Prem at him, and easily penned the guy. But, at the same time, we would have had to hit his upper plate, or lower plate, to pen it. Well, we're not having to expose ourselves all that much, because all we have to do is just keep slapping him with HE. And we're doing a good amount of damage. So we've loaded heat, and we went for the weak spot on the T29, which is that gun port, which is only about 90 to 100 millimeters. With 140 heat pen, easy we penned him for 380 odd then we finally launch another heat shell straight into his side and finish him off the tank heat shells this 122 dirt gun on all the russian tanks with the heat shells can be deadly it's just so good so so good it's one of the easiest derps to use because of its well because of the caliber because of the heat pen and stuff like that it's just such a good tank for it so we've got heat in we launch the shell perfectly into that VK3001P as he's going up the hill. Just juicy. It's all so juicy in it. So again, we'd, we'd take a slim shot at the VK. Isn't, isn't, that was never going to hit. We'd have been very fortunate if it had. Um, we're still looking to shut him down because I'm trying to help the hill out. But he's probably going to die, which he does. Then this, T, or this Type 58 drives out into the open. It's like, well, I think you've made a mistake, sir. Launch a heat shell straight into him. Half his health gone in one shot. Now there's a Tiger P. That Tiger P's yeah, not helpful. So we launch the heat, the last heat shell we've got straight into the side of the Tiger P because we can pen it. We've hit him for like nearly 400. That's what's so delightful about this thing is you're just slapping higher tier tanks for so much. It's, it's juicy. It's like when you see tier 8s and you see the stuff like Tiger 2s and King Tigers and that. And you just load the heat, get around the side, slap it straight in. It's the same, again, it's the same with the Japanese heavies. They're ones that you can do exactly the same to. If you get up to them, side hug them, just launch heat into the side every time, pen them, do significant damage, and they won't be able to press the gun to you. It's just filthy. It's delightful. And this tank is a barrel of laughs. It's so much fun to play. Because you've got the versatility. You've got the ability to go, you know what, I can't pen these guys, I'll launch HE, and I'll do stuff like track that Tiger P and get some assistance off it. And I'll just, you know, I'll do 140 damage to the front of a T29 just by launching it into the gap between his turret and his hull, which does some serious damage. T3045, it's just, it's, it's wonderful tank. So, we spot the last guy, he's making his way up there, we try and launch a shot at the 244, but unfortunately it goes over, he's in a weird sort of dip. And I am a one-shot for this guy, so I'm trying to keep my distance, use the cover and concealment in front of me. I can outspot him, so we're just going to sit here in the bushes and try and get more shots at him. 
We get a nice shot into his tracks again, track him again, and he gets wrecked by the other guy behind me. So again, we finish another game with the T3485, and it's another beautiful game for this tank. Top place again, two kills, 2,988 damage, 671 assisters, for which most of it was tracking. Ace tanker, high caliber. Yeah, the, it's amazing, honestly. The T3485 is just a beautiful, beautiful tank, especially with the derp gun. And it's the same on something like the KV-13. You can use this Dogon to great effect, it's wonderful. And it's a great fun tank that's well worth playing like this and grinding up. So as always everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.